no, that's not my intro. Video is going to be a little off, oh, fuck sake. What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Ellie and today's video is going to be a little life update for you while I do my makeup and get ready for the day. I say I'm getting ready for the day, it's like half one in the afternoon but here we are this is the uh life of a uni student at this point um i feel like i have not filmed in so fucking long it's a joke but you better believe that i am back and i am back better than ever i have so many good video ideas planned for you guys and now that i'm back into a little bit more of a routine now that i'm at uni um hopefully this is going to be a regular thing again so yeah if you are interested in watching this video then obviously keep watching if you enjoy then like and subscribe and let's just get on with it what can i tell you guys so much has happened in the last couple of months i think it's probably been like a month and a half since you guys have last seen me and obviously shit has happened and you know what it's been good shit so yeah i'm just gonna do my makeup i'm gonna take you through it i'm gonna tell you about how i'm doing um and we're just gonna we're gonna vibe um please ignore these like little stains i was cooking some dinner the other night and oil got on it and i cannot get it out to save my life and if, if any of you know any tricks then please do send them my way so i'm just gonna do my makeup i'm not really gonna talk you through what i'm actually doing because i'm just gonna kind of talk you through how how i've been what's been going on all of that jazz so i think the uh, main thing that we have to start with is the fact that i now live in london when did that happen i don't know well it actually was like just over a week ago i've been here for yeah i think like nine ten days i think it's been an incredible yet absolutely terrifying journey i'm not gonna lie to you but obviously if you've watched my videos before then you know that i was moving to london to go to uni i've indeed started my course which i'll get into a little bit more later on but yeah i mean it was probably or it is the biggest thing that i've ever done is moving a away from home but also moving into this big fat off fucking city that does terrify me but i am learning to adjust i'm honestly having the best time here at the moment um obviously i have only been here a week and lectures although they have started they're not like really intense yet so we'll see how that goes for those of you that are considering going to you need to do something that you would love to do later on in life i 100 recommend it it's honestly the best decision i've ever made i was close to not coming i was close to quitting i was close to just Kind of having to muddle through and do whatever just to be able to earn some money and live but i am here i am loving life and yeah i think it's something that i would recommend to anybody and everybody i will be honest with you if i didn't have to go to uni to do the career that i wanted to do i probably wouldn't be here it was very much out of my comfort zone to move to a completely new city move in with new people and obviously the course that i'm doing is a little bit difficult and stressful but oh i just really fucked up my eyebrow that's brilliant let's buff that out but yeah so i'm just going to take you through kind of the process how i've been feeling over the last couple of weeks obviously the fact that i haven't filmed in a really long time i'm gonna tell you about how kind of my personality's changed the friends that i've made and yeah i'm just gonna basically update you on it all so i for those of you who don't know i lived in kent before and on the, I think it was the 12th of September, I moved to London at South Bank University where I am gonna be studying, or I have started studying, which is the most bizarre thing, um, children's nursing. The whole situation of coming up here was very, very different than what I expected. I had actually filmed a few videos for you guys of like moving in, or well, packing all my stuff and moving in because of that would be kind of beneficial for you all, but I didn't like them, I scrapped them. So what I probably will do in the next couple of months is film a video on like what to bring to uni for those of you that are going to be starting next year that kind of thing because obviously i do think they're really beneficial videos i know for a fact that i watched a load before i came here and some of my friends here did and they are really helpful for those of you that are starting uni i actually moved all my stuff in a week earlier than i actually came which for me worked so much better it was better for me personally purely because when i then moved in the week after um everything was ready for me i didn't have to stress and i could just start getting to know people whereas i feel like if stuff wasn't ready then i would have been stressing about getting things tied obviously i'm a bit of a neat freak now not that i always used to be but i am now and it gave me a really good opportunity to start making friends and go and socialize and stuff but yeah i moved all my stuff in on the uh i think it was the sixth and then 
I did actually come down on the Thursday after that, which I can't really remember the day, like the 10th maybe, I don't know, it's not really that important, but I then came down on the Thursday to actually move in, move in, but it wasn't really under the circumstances that I wanted in the first place, made a bit of a mistake, and so we decided that it would just be better if I came up here, but when I tell you that it was an absolute ghost town when I arrived, I'm not joking, it was terrifying, I'm not gonna lie to you, because I didn't know anyone and I was so afraid of like kind of reaching out to people I didn't know what to do none of the people that I had spoken to on WhatsApp or Instagram or anything like that had actually moved in I woke up the next morning um, having a panic attack which was brilliant because I didn't actually know where I was and what was going on so I FaceTimed my mum and my mum was like you know just come back it's actually only 40 minutes on the train for me to get home anyway so I went back home and I went out with some friends. I spent the Saturday with my mum, which was amazing because that's kind of what I wanted to happen before anyway. I spent the weekend with my mum, well, I spent the weekend with my friends and my mum. My sister was actually quite busy that weekend, so I didn't really get to spend much time with her, but she did actually come and visit me. But yeah, so I then moved in on the Sunday and obviously everything was already ready for me from when I'd moved all my stuff in the previous week. And then obviously I'd stayed here on the Thursday anyway. And pretty quickly I started to adjust and it was just natural. There were loads of people here. I kind of found a way of socializing with people, obviously sticking to the guidelines kind of thing. Um, and I got invited to a flat party, which was really nice. And that's how I've met my little group of friends now who I will talk about a little bit more in a while. And so it kind of just settled from there. I just, I don't know, I kind of forgot why I was nervous to begin with because I found these people that I just got on with really, really well. And I was prepared as well, like with starting my course. I actually had an induction week, which is pretty long, but um, I was prepared for that. And obviously everything was ready, so I didn't feel the need to stress about, you know, tidying my room or unpacking or anything like that. I just had the opportunity to get to know people. So yeah, moving in was an, an experience in itself, I think. And if any of you would like a video um, based on that, then I'm more than happy to do one. I am thinking about doing like a little series type thing on here, maybe like a little playlist of all my uni type videos, you know, how I'm studying, the socialising aspect, like things you need to pack for next year. I'm also gonna do some on like writing your personal statements and stuff specifically for like nursing than anything because obviously that's what I wrote my personal statement for. So I think the next thing really to talk about is kind of what it's like living in London, <laughs> basically. I was trying to think of what I was actually gonna say then. I did do a like, little plan because my videos are better when I plan. But yeah, so moving to London has just been insane. I was so utterly nervous because I don't really like big crowded spaces and obviously this is like a massive fucking city and there are thousands and thousands, like, millions of people in here. Are there millions? Is there millions of people in London? I'm not sure. But there's lots and lots of people basically. And that was one of the biggest things that I was afraid of was, you know, the amount of people that there were gonna be type thing. But having my little group of friends really helped because we all kind of started venturing out together, particularly me and um, my friend called Jess, who I've made really good friends with. We kind of have been doing things together so that we're not alone. Um, which I mean, I always recommend anyway, no offense to guys, but especially being a girl in London, you would not believe the amount of creeps that we've come across that will just upfront just be weird with you. Absolutely loving it. I've still got a lot of adventuring to do as such. Been down to South Bank, which is really, really cute. If any of you are in London, I highly recommend, oh gosh, I highly recommend walking down there and across, uh, well, along the river up to the London Eye because there are some really cute little bars down there. There's some cute little food stalls. There's music pretty much every day. Um, and it's just a really, really nice atmosphere to be in. I still do really struggle with the fact that there are so many people and obviously people drive like dickheads around here. Cyclists are actually the worst around here. And oh my God, m the boys made us get on Boris bikes the other day. And I think it was honestly the most terrifying experience of my entire life. I thought I was gonna die at every which point, but it was kind of fun at the same time. So living in London is a big thing for me. Obviously, this is like one of the best places I can be for my course anyway, because of the hospitals that are here that specialize in children's nursing and stuff like that yes okay there's loads around the country but you know london hospitals are london hospitals at the end of the day so we are actually it's my birthday tomorrow this will be posted on the friday it's my birthday it's the day before uh, it's on the 24th of september i'm hoping this will be posted by this friday anyway who <laughs> fucking knows with me so tomorrow we're actually going to go venture down to camden which is, uh, no are we going there no we're going there on friday night which is when this video will be up my sister's actually coming down from um, where I live to come and join um, and then a few of us are going out obviously Boris's new restrictions of six people has kind of fucked it up a little bit we're then gonna have like a little flat party at 
either my flat or Jess's flat. Either one, we're not sure yet. So we're gonna venture down to Camden. Tomorrow I might even go shopping at Oxford Street. Um, I really want to go to Chinatown at some point. I love Chinatown, but I also want to go to the parts of London that I've never actually been to to before so like even south bank i hadn't been there well i don't ever remember being there before so yeah living in london is a big massive deal as you can imagine um and the people here i mean you have some weirdos but some people are really really friendly like you could literally just walk in the street and wave at somebody or smile at somebody and they'll do the exact same back unless they're like gonna stab you but that's not actually that likely <laughs> i hope not anyway so i guess next is on to making friends so making friends was probably one of the parts of going to uni that i was most afraid of but i genuinely think it's probably been one of the easiest parts of joining uh, joining uni you know everyone especially everyone in first year as well are in the exact same boat when it comes to making friends like unless people have come um from like the same place or whatever yeah i mean it's been it's been good um it's nice when you get like this little group like you haven't got like too many people but then you have people that will kind of come to the same thing or you know if there's a flat party people will um kind of come along and then you meet lo lots of different people because there are like i think there's like 500 of us in this accommodation it's a lot of people it's not it's not a small small uh, it's not a small number i have been talking to a few people about it the last couple of days because we're all a bit like oh my god i can't believe how close we are after like literally a week but i genuinely feel like it's not the same obviously so don't come for me for saying this but i do feel like it's a little bit like uh, love island and excuse how crazy right now i look how crazy I look right now. I do genuinely think it's a little bit like Love Island. Obviously, we're all living together. Emotions are heightened. Oh my God, that's so much. Friendships and relationships are all gonna be kind of like so much more, so much quicker because, you know, we're together 24 seven. It's not like when you're friends and then you kind of go home kind of thing and then maybe see them the next day. Like we are literally waking up together. We're going to sleep together. We're having dinner together. We're having lunch together. We're doing courses together. Like it is all so much more intensified, which I absolutely love because you know, if I am feeling down for whatever reason, if I'm really missing home, which I have been the last couple of days, I know that there are people literally in the block next to me or in my flat or across the, the hall that I could just message and be like, do you want to go outside and have a chat or do you want to come over and, you know, help me sort out my life because I'm really stressing out. We're all just kind of squashed together. But also, like, obviously, because we've all got our own rooms in the flats, if you need your own time, we just go to our own kind of rooms or whatever. It's not like... I don't think anyone in this accommodation has to share with anyone. I mean, flat sizes vary. I think I've got nine in mine, whereas other people have like five or seven. So like the number of the number of people in your flat kind of varies, but you still do get your own space, which I think is beautiful. I did, obviously, I think I mentioned the fact that I applied for somewhere that I could get my own bathroom because was I gonna share with absolute strangers? Hell no particularly boys no offense but you all smell and you're really messy so that's quite nice as well that we've got kind of like our own little independence and then like me and my friends have been having dinner together every night we've kind of like when we went shopping the other day we kind of got stuff that we could either make together or we got the same stuff that we could then have at the same time if that makes sense which has been really nice the only thing that i would say has been kind of really shitty is the fact that yesterday i lost my keys to my flat had the fattest panic attack in the middle of london I was searching literally everywhere i went back like everywhere i'd been that day i checked my flat I checked jess's flat I checked my bag i was literally i mean six people helped me like look for look for these bloody keys um and i couldn't find them so i had to pay 100 quid just to get some new ones which was a little bit shit but at the end of the day you know it's not like they didn't let me back in so i lost my keys and you know it is only 100 quid i mean 100 quid is a lot considering i literally have three pound in my bank account but you know We'll, we'll look past that. The one thing as well that I think everyone's been struggling with is enrolment's been really, really slow. And for those of you that have been to uni or know about kind of how uni works, um, you don't get your student finance until you have been enrolled. So a lot of us are still waiting for that, which is really, really stressful because, you know, we've been here for over a week now. So people's food supplies are kind of diminishing. You know, if we want to go out for drinks, we don't really have the money for it, um, which is a little bit shit. But we will make do. Somebody said to me that I should mention kind of how I've been feeling about not being with my family. To be honest with you, this sounds awful. The first, I'd say like five or six days, I really didn't miss them. Well, I missed them, but I didn't really think about it that much, purely because I think I was just so kind of involved with getting to know people. And especially when I had induction, my induction was Monday to Friday, 10 to four every day. So it was quite long days. I'd say the last couple of days have been a lot harder. I'm not really sure why as such. I think maybe now that, you know, the adrenaline's kind of um, coming down a little bit and like obviously it's my birthday tomorrow. So I want to be able to see my mum and stuff, but 
um, we're living in the middle of London and having a high risk mum, it's just not feasible for me to go home at the moment and risk potentially bringing anything back. And so we've been on kind of FaceTime at least twice a day, you know, kind of catching up with each other and stuff. I'm really missing my grandpa because obviously I'm, I live with him, but he's been on the phone every day and um, kind of just checking out on how I am and stuff, making sure that I have enough food, money, that I'm brushing my teeth, that I'm having breakfast, all of those kind of grandpa-ish things. So it's all been pretty damn good to be honest with you. I'm in possibly the best place now that I have been in a very, very long time. And this was honestly, the best decision I think I've ever made. I obviously mentioned the fact that I almost didn't come to uni because I really wasn't very well, like mentally and stuff, but I started counselling just before I came, um, which was, again, probably one of the best things I've done for myself more than anything. I just didn't want to come to uni and kind of be stressing about this and that when I had bigger things to kind of be worrying about. She's been able to help me deal with, you know, certain situations and finding coping strategies. Like if I'm in a, a, a like a big group and I'm getting freaked out, like, you know, the whole breathe situation or just leave or message Jess and just say that I'm struggling and she can come down and have a chat with me or kind of get me out of that situation, whatever. So I definitely think that's really, really helped me. I'm still having the sessions now and I'll openly admit the fact that I'm still having those sessions. I don't really know what else to tell you other than the fact that uni has just been incredible. I mean, I know a few friends that are only just moving into their unis now, so they're gonna start experiencing those feelings soon which is really cool oh actually i do want to say this isn't going to be the um the background forever i actually have some really nice prints that are going to go on this wall here and then i'm gonna have some fairy lights as well so hopefully that'll look a little bit nicer um and you also might be wondering what happened to my hair um i actually took my extensions out just before i came to uni because they were just atrocious with like how the glue had slid down or slid up and stuff so my mum actually took them out we were going to put them back in but i just couldn't really be bothered to be honest with you to sit there for another like two hours i mean i'm quite liking it it's a lot longer than when i first put them in which is nice um and it's in a much better condition if anybody's thinking about getting hair extensions i highly recommend getting tapes like honestly i don't know i mean because i've had a few different types i've had the weave and i've had um micro beads i think they're called micro bonds or whatever and the tapes by far the best that i've ever had and um, they haven't damaged my hair at all it's really easy for removal you use a bit of acetone whatever some of you are probably thinking why the fuck are you putting acetone on your hair but it worked and um, i might well put them in again i did actually want to put them back in for my birthday but it's not really that that big of a deal do you know what i mean and my birthday's tomorrow so it's a bit too late now i hope you are all doing well obviously i don't know kind of oh, if some of you are back to school, if some of you have started uni, I can't see again. You know, like, how are you guys doing? I want to know. Put down in the comments, you know, how you're finding kind of almost post lockdown, even though we might be going back into another one, which is fucking brilliant. I'm just praying that if they do put us back into a lockdown, I don't have to go home. Not because I don't want to be at home, but just because I'm really enjoying myself here and I'm starting to really find... The kind of person that i was a long time ago cringe i know but it's true um so i really hope you've enjoyed this video i know that i've probably spoken quite a lot about different things but i'm really hoping that maybe this can help some of you out as well i'm gonna really try to film i'm actually planning on filming all of my birthday um, my 20th birthday so hopefully next week you will see a vlog um obviously do bear with me because i do need to prioritize my schoolwork <laughs> Ooh, my uni work above youtube for now um, but once i get myself into a little bit more of a routine then hopefully they will become a regular thing again and if you have enjoyed the video then don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next one